In today's video, we're gonna be replacing the rear brake pads on this Ram 1500, so let's get into it. Okay guys, and welcome back. So on the last video, or another video I should say, depending on when you watched it and if you watched it, we replaced the brake pads with the dustless pads from PowerStop in the front. And we also put new rotors because the front rotors were warped, but luckily the rears are still good, but we do need to replace those pads. Pads are pretty much worn, but I also want to get the dustless pads on the rear so that we don't have the same brake dust issue. So let's go ahead and get to work. So here are the pads that I'm talking about you guys. They are made by PowerStop. They're called Evolution Plus and they also say clean ride ceramic low dust formula so a lot of guys are using these pads and not having really any brake dust at all they sell it with and without the hardware i chose to go with hardware just because it wasn't that much more it was a couple bucks extra for some new hardware We've got our brand new ceramic pads in here so let's get uh get those wheels off get to the braking system and we will replace the pads all right, once you get the wheel off, these pads are definitely worn down, but like I said, at least we caught them just in time. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove the caliper. So you're gonna see a 10 mil bolt there, a 10 mil bolt there, and you're also gonna see this here, so we're gonna retract the piston first. There's one, here's the second one, and now we can remove our caliper just don't let it hang same as any other one and you might want to remove these two ABS clips here so we definitely got our money's worth out of these pads boys <laughs> these things are right down to the nothings so pull these out of here and here's the other one same thing and we got new hardware so we can remove this old hardware Pop it up. So take off our clips. Here's one. There's the bottom one. And here's the top one. So you will notice, guys, that the actual clips are different. They're not all the same. So just keep an eye out. See how that one's offset this way and that way. You want this tab to be lined up with your rotor. So just make sure you put the correct one on depending on which one you choose. So they're lined up like that. Next up, throw our pads on. So front pad is in, and some guys like to put slider pin grease or anti-seize. You definitely don't want to use anti-seize. There's a big controversy on whether you put slider pin grease or brake assembly lube, whatever you want to call it, on your actual slider areas, contact points. Me personally, I think it just collects dirt and grime and kind of adds grit to there. I think it's better to keep it clean and dry rather than try to put a bunch of gum there that's going to collect dirt and brake dust and just cake there, but let you guys decide on that. I'm going to put the inner pad in. So it's pretty tight to get the inside pad in. So you're gonna have to position it like that. So you kind of have to tuck it in and then you have to play this game of wiggling it around with two hands to get it around there. Okay, so both pads are in. Let's put the caliper back on. And you're gonna notice the top tucks in right there and then the bottom swings in. So once you get it in properly, it'll look like that. And you might have to slide these sliders out so that you can get it around if you're having trouble with seating it just double check these and make sure they're not hitting on the inside right there so we'll put in our two 10 mil bolts and tighten them down so double check all your hardware is tight if you disconnected your abs wire make sure that is back on and secured and put your wheel back on okay so this wheel's done let's go to the other side so same as before first things first we'll retract the piston take out our 10 mil bolts once both bolts are removed, remove your caliper. And we'll set it off to the side. Make sure that you're not letting it hang by your brake line. We'll remove our pads. And you might have to lift this tab up a little bit to get them fully seated. So like I said, you might have to lift up right in the very corner there just to get it in. 
and you can squeeze it and bring it all the way in. Throw our caliper on. Double check that your slide pins move freely. You can actually push them this way, it'll make it a little bit easier. Throw our caliper over the top. This one actually hooks from the bottom. So you'll notice right there, hooks down the opposite way. So make sure you get it down in there and then swing it into the top like that. So now we'll put our two 10 mil bolts in. Tighten your two 10 mil bolts. So double check all your hardware is tight and everything is good. Double check your work, throw your wheel back on. Wheels are on and tight. And last but not least, you guys definitely want to pump your brakes before you even attempt to start the vehicle. Look at that, all the way to the floor. One. So it went all the way to the floor and about halfway down the second time around. So you wanna make sure you pump your brakes just so that you put your pistons back after they've been retracted. And then there is a break-in procedure for these specific pads. So here's the bed-in procedure, break-in procedure for this. It is important that the bed-in happens as soon as possible after installation. It's also important that the bed-in procedure is followed as close as possible. It says it wants you to do 30 aggressive decelerations from 30 miles per hour to five miles per hour. So it says perform 30 decelerations from 30 miles per hour to five mile per hour and then wait 30 seconds. So leaving 30 seconds in between each brake application. So it wants you to hit the brakes 30 times slowing down from 30 miles an hour to five miles per hour and wait 30 seconds of cooling. So that's the procedure to bed these in properly. So that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, you guys. I will link also the front brake installation that we did with those same pads. I'll keep you updated on the brake dust because they're supposed to significantly reduce brake dust. I've seen a bunch of other people running them on all sorts of things like things like Hellcats and stuff, those same pads, and they have like no brake dust anymore. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. And I'll also link down below all the parts that we used, uh, those brake pads, so you guys can check them out. And I will update you how they're working for us as well. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, check out the other videos on this channel, and we'll see you guys on the next video.